Warning, asphaltic materials and tools are hot. Serious injury may occur if caution is not exercised when handling the equipment and materials. Personal protective equipment must be used at all times. Okay, this is Arizona 103, sampling bituminous materials. There's two types of materials. There's asphalt binder and there's emulsions. The containers that we're going to be using for asphalt binder has to be a minimum of one gallon can, uh, double friction tops, seal on it. Uh, these paint cans work good. You can see there's a seal on the inside and the outside. Make sure that your lids fit tightly with, on your containers. For the emulsions, it's two half gallon containers made of plastic with wide mouth lid uh, openings. <clears throat> a minimum of two of those. Before you use them, you have to make sure that they're clean, they're new, they're clean, no residue. Make sure that the lid fits in on there good and tight. <clears throat> if you have to clean them, you cannot use any solvents to clean it. You have to use just a clean dry cloth to clean it. And then transferring from one container to another should be avoided if at all possible. And for the motion samples, they need to be protected from freezing. Okay, we're going to identify our samples by placing the sample ticket on the side with all the pertinent information. Make sure it's securely fastened on the side. And we have to write on the side with a permanent marker all the pertinent information. It's both. It cannot just be one. It has to be both of them. So now we're at the site. We're going to get our sample for our binder. We're going to sample it from the last possible point before it's introduced into the plant. Uh, for emulsions, it's, it's a distributor truck on the project. No matter where you're at, you're going to have a valve. You're going to open up the valve and let at least one gallon pass through the valve. You're cleaning out that valve. You want to make sure you have representative material before you get your sample. Once you have it cleaned out, then you're going to grab your, your uh, container for binder. It's going to be a metal container. For emulsions, it'll be your plastic containers. You're going to fill it up to no more than one inch from the top of the can or the, of the container. That's for binder and for emulsions. Always leave at least one inch from the top. Once you get your sample, you need to put the lid on there and tightly seal it. Please be sure to review all of the materials available in either the asphalt or field technician certification workbook.